Hi guys, today I'm going to show and test this really super super large CI star power bank for you. That's the thing here, really really super large, beautiful, and it comes with a whopping 50,000 milliamps charge. We have two different inputs, we have four different outputs supporting quick charge, PD can even be charged with higher USB voltage, can also charge other devices with higher voltage with pretty high speed. There's also a lot of protection here built in. We have also a beautiful display which shows the charge very accurate in digits. So very interesting device. So I'm going to show you what you get in the box, how you can use it to be charged and charge other devices. So stay tuned till the very end of the video. And so let's see what we already got here. There's not a lot of information here on the package, a little bit here on the back. And so let's open it. We get a user manual, comes in four different languages. Most important, of course, the specs. And then we have the power bank itself. Definitely a massive power bank. Comes with protection here. Yeah, not only massive, but also very beautiful, stylish. And here the different outputs. The high power output with 22 watts, nicely marked with green. Then we have 2 times 18 watts. And we have even more power on USB-C up to 30 watts. We can use that also for 30 watts input to charge the power bank itself. But what's good is that we have also legacy micro USB input support. I love it. There are no other ports or buttons except from this one here, of course, which you can use to check, for example, the charge nicely visible 70% how this arrived here. Of course, you get also a charging cable as accessory. The charging cable is a modern USB A to USB C. And so let's check here regarding compatibility of the first or strongest USB A port. And we can see we have a lot of compatibility and especially confirmation about quick charge, of course. And of course, on USB C, we get confirmation for PD 3.0. Then, of course, we want to also do check regarding the voltage. So, let's test the trigger possibilities on USB C. We have 5 volts, we have 9 volts, and we have 12 volts. And so, let's run a quick ramp up test here to see the maximum power goes up 15, 20 watts. And so we had a cut off at 2.1 amps at 12 volts, which is around 25 watts. And of course it has a lot of safety built in, so it's not damaged. It has just cut off the power to prevent any damage. We can see, we can just push the button and we have the power back. Of course it's reset now to 5 volts. So we don't have to be worried when we're trying to pull too much power. And so I also want to know if we can charge this Lenovo laptop. With most power banks it's not possible to charge. Here you can see it's definitely charging. Yeah, definitely a pretty cool thing that I can use this for my laptop because my laptop is very picky. You get definitely confirmation that it's charging. And so let's see what we can do here on this Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. It goes into charge, even says fast charging. And so let's see how many phones we can charge. This one is charging. Number two also goes into charge. Number three also goes into charge. And number four, yeah, we can see all of them are charging at the same time only from one single power bank, absolutely awesome. And so of course we want to know as well how we can charge the power bank itself. Yeah, works great here, USB-C to USB-C. And so let's see, we can also use micro USB to charge. Yeah, we get definitely confirmation that also that works. One interesting thing I've just noticed is when we charge with higher voltage, for example, USB-C, then we get an extra green flash. So we can't see that here when we're charging with micro USB. But when we are charging with higher voltage, we can see this green icon here indicating that it's higher voltage. By the way, that's of course also the case when we are charging a phone which is capable to use higher voltage. 
And so I've done a full capacity test, fully charged and discharged this power bank. So let's see the result. I haven't seen that before, so I'm very curious. So we can see that when we turn it on again, that's very surprising, something I've never seen before. We can see the zero percent. So the battery definitely has fully discharged. And when I push, it's turning on, showing the zero, but it's not delivering power here to these devices. Devices. That's a combination which I've never seen before, but somehow of course makes sense to protect the batteries inside, but you won't be able to get some extra juice, maybe for an emergency call or so if you're out in the woods in emergency situation. So that means I need some extra power for this meter. And so let's check the result here. Yeah, definitely totally disappointing. I hope you can see that only 17,675 or six, something like that. It's a little bit hard to see behind the camera. Yeah, not even 18,000 milliamps and that from a power bank, which is listed with 50,000 milliamps. Of course, to stay fair, I have to mention that no 50,000 milliamps power bank is delivering 50,000 milliamps at 5 volts because that's just 3.7 volts here inside and we are measuring 5 volts here on the output so we have a mathematical conversion and then we have about 10% loss so at the maximum with a very good power bank you would get around 32,500 milliamps here and I would say we should expect at least a bare minimum of around 25,000 milliamps at 5 volts from a so-called 50,000 milliamps power bank. That's based on my experience. Everything below 50% of what is written here on the power bank is definitely not enough. Very close to a total scam. I rarely see so low numbers. This is absolutely crazy and what i also noticed that there are some numbers here in the back regarding the maximum output and input and we see also the 50,000 milliamps but we don't see any milliwatt hours i would say 90 percent of the power banks these days they stay pretty fair and mention also the milliwatt hours but they don't mention this here so this power bank really blows me away regarding the very, very, very low maximum input power, output power, and especially regarding the capacity. Super, super disappointing for me, very, very close to a scam. And so I definitely cannot recommend it. I would highly recommend to stay away by something else. There are definitely better batteries on the market so my suggestion always goes to inu or inu that's usually a very reliable brand you can see very similar size i mean it's a little bit larger but also quite thinner it's in a comparable price range maybe a little bit more expensive but it delivers exactly same capacity as this one here but it has much higher output and input. It can deliver up to 140 watts. I've tested this maximum 140 watts on USB-C. So you can even charge a laptop super fast. Has also much better display with all the information. You can see also the wattage input and output here. Definitely something on a total different level. But again, I would stay away from something like that, where they mention 50,000 milliamps and especially saying 30 watts input and output and then not even delivering 20 watts input output. Totally disappointing for me. So that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.